what is up guys jeremy here and welcome back to another best tweaks video been cranking these out like crazy lately so i hope you guys have been enjoying them uh for those of you that are for the non-jailbreak stuff i know um you know a, a good chunk of my subscribers are for the non-jailbreak stuff don't worry guys i will still be doing the non-jailbreak uh customization stuff um, I'm just a little packed up with the tweaks right now just because there's so much that I want to cover for you guys um, But I will continue the non jailbreak stuff like on iOS 14.5 and all that So just stay tuned for it. I will be doing more coverage on that kind of stuff uh, Just focusing a lot on the tweaks right now um, But anyways, let's get into the best tweaks now. This is gonna be kind of a combination of things um, It's not just tweaks. It's also a theme. It's also a couple of widgets um, I'm gonna try and mix it up a little bit for you guys so you can kind of pull off you know a setup maybe like this on your own device which I think looks really really cool uh, so first off is the theme uh, the featured theme here is Leto I think that this theme is absolutely gorgeous uh, the icons are just really really cool looking um, of course there's a lot more icons than just that as you guys can see here you can see some of the other icons and in, in what they look like uh, it does feature a lot of icons and I think it just looks really really cool on iOS 14 next up we got jumper this is a lock screen tweak. So if we go to the lock screen, as you can see, the shortcut buttons there have been altered and that's because of the jumper tweak. Um, so basically I have this for the Halide camera app, which I like better than stock iOS. If we can get my screen to wake back up here. And then I have the other shortcut set as Spotify uh, because if I want to access the flashlight, I can just pull down or pull up on control center, access it that way. So I like having uh, a music shortcut and a, a different camera app shortcut and that's due to the tweak jumper it lets you set any application you want also you can have multiple applications which is really neat definitely a really cool tweak now the name of this tweak is called clean tabs 13 which obviously you know is meant for ios 13 but it is working on ios 14 and i like it a lot basically it'll remove all of the names in the bottom tabs of applications so it has a much much more clean look to it. If we go into the app store, this will demonstrate this tweak as you guys can see there. So in the app store, as you can see, there are no names below those icons and that is clean tabs 13. Um, I would suspect that this might be updated or a newer version will come out for it. So if you see a clean tabs 14, I would probably install that instead of 13, but 13 is working and I think it looks really, really nice on iOS 14. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about the widgets because I know a lot of people are gonna ask me about these. Um, so we'll go ahead and go into settings here. This is uh, Zen HTML. And as you can see, the, the first one, the top one at the status bar there is called status bar D-A-T-T-K weather. That is by Daddy Cool. And it is a really cool, simple widget that goes on the top portion of your screen. Now, this you will have to manually install into Zen HTML. I have a tutorial on how to do that. I will leave the video tutorial listed down in the description, but if you guys want this widget, it will have to be manually installed. And then the other one here is one that I created, as you guys can see, it's called IDM Empire's Day. Um, it's slightly updated from a, a different version. It's more simplified. It's just the text of the current day. And I think that it just looks really cool. Uh, and that's what widget that is. And like I said, I'm using Zen HTML um, to pull off these widgets on the home screen. You can use it for the lock screen as well. Uh, one thing I want to add here for Zen HTML, because I know a lot of people have downloaded it and used it. Um, one big bug that is going on with Zen HTML is when you take your all of your icons out of your dock, you actually can't get them back in. Uh, and the way around that is to go into Zen HTML and then disable the home screen. And then you can put your icons back into the dock and then you can turn the home screen back on just like that. Um, if you guys are watching this way in the future, this might already be fixed. I just wanted to let some of you guys know that we're having those issues. But again, a couple of widgets in Zen HTML can really uh, make this setup look a lot better. Now, I'm sure you guys were wondering when we were on the lock screen here, uh, this tweak right here, this is called text time, and it allows you to alter the stock clock and date on the lock screen. It kind of reminds me of like jellyfish, but not really just because it allows different customization um, we can actually go into settings and I'll give you a very quick brief overview of text time so you guys can see what it's like. Uh, it just gives you full control over the text. Um, you can have it left, center, right, lowercase, capitalized, upper, font size, and then a few other options. 
And that's basically how I made the date look like that on the lock screen. And I think it's a really clean, uh, cool look. Another tweak that's been updated for iOS 14 is Cylinder and it's called Cylinder Reborn and it's animated page scrolling effects as you guys probably noticed earlier. And I think it looks really cool with the stock iOS 14 widgets. Just having that widget spin around and come into place. I think it looks really, really cool. There's a ton of different animations to choose within Cylinder and I highly recommend it if you guys want to wow a couple of people with just swiping from one page to another. Again, that's Cylinder Reborn. Another cool tweak that I like to use is called Vinyl. So if we go into Spotify here, I'm gonna go ahead and play a random song and we exit and go to the lock screen. As you can see, the, uh, the media player on the lock screen is quite a bit different. And that is because of the tweak Vinyl. I think it's a really nice simplified media player. It matches the way I have text time set up and I think it just kind of cleans up the lock screen makes that media player a lot better in my opinion. Okay, the last tweak I got for you guys is called Milky Way 3. I've done a full review video on this tweak. I think it's absolutely awesome. Uh, what it allows you to do is you can open up your multitasking, you can click and hold on an application and it will open that app as its own window. And it's kind of like a Mac looking window and it allows you to multitask. As you can see, I can still touch on my home screen and I can still go through the settings application. As you guys can see, it's pretty, it's pretty crazy. Awesome tweak. I'll leave my video review of it down in the description if you guys wanna check it out. Uh, and that's all the tweaks I got for you guys in this video. Like I said, I will leave everything listed down in the description uh, so that you guys can easily find everything and download and use it. Um, I will leave video links for tutorials that will help you guys figure out how to do certain things as well. And um, if you guys wanna discover more really cool iOS 14 tweaks, uh, be sure to check out the best iOS 14 tweaks playlist link. It's down in the description. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely throw me a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot here at the channel. And if you guys wanna see more videos like this in the future, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Later.